Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Tan Joggers on GTA 5 right now. But as you can see, I was just wearing the outfit which I put the Tan Joggers onto. But first of all, to start this glitch, what you want to do is just go onto the map and come to this clothing store right here. Which has actually got this uh, race in front of it. If you don't know how to get the races and jobs on the map, just go to hide options, go to jobs, and go to all jobs and switch over it and make sure that says custom. Now, if the blue circle doesn't actually appear here once you've said it's custom... What you want to do is just pull the interaction menu up again and choose the easy way out and when you respawn the blue circle should appear. Now once you've done that what you want to do is register, register as a CEO and this glitch is also solo and it's uh, really easy. And uh, yeah what you want to do is register as CEO. Before I actually get into the main glitch I would just like to say I've got a new Instagram so if you could go follow that I would appreciate that a lot. And uh, if you do follow that you will be entered into uh, any future giveaways. But um, first of all, I am on the road to 250 subs as well. So if you could drop a sub and a like, I would appreciate that a lot. And uh, when I actually hit 250 subs, I will be doing a giveaway. But anyway, now that's uh, over, what you want to do is, um, once you're in a CEO, you want to make sure you're actually outside of the store here and uh, next to the job, as you can see where I am now. And what you want to do is just pull the interaction menu up. Once you're here, you want to pull the interaction menu up, go to security serve, go to management. Uh, so it's underneath higher associates you see management and you want to go down to style as you can see here and then you want to switch to CEO style and press right on the d-pad until you actually get to the outfit which has got the um, time joggers on you can see you want to keep switching through and it's actually called Wardlord the one that's actually got the tan joggers on as you can see here it's got the tan joggers on here now once you actually got this outfit on just back out of the menu and you want to walk into this race here and press right on the d-pad to enter once you've uh, pressed enter, you should then be put into like a loading screen with the checkered flag above. And you should then be loading into the race, which you would now have just entered. Now once you're in the race, it doesn't matter if if uh, it's someone else in the race or anything like that. Because you won't actually be completing this, you will just be quitting. Uh, but you don't quit yet, I'll tell you when to quit. So like I say, you can just uh, be in the lobby with anyone else or you can do this race solo. It's up to you, it doesn't really affect the glitch. And then what you want to do is just start the race up and wait for it to load. And then once it's loaded, you'll then come onto the vehicle selection to switch through like three bikes and then you want to press B and actually quit the job. As you can see here, you want to confirm that you quit the job as well. And you'll be put into a loading screen and you'll be uh, loading uh, into the online session again. Now this is like the timing part kind of once you've actually loaded in you want to spam a and like run and you want to run into the clothes store and go to the top section and stand still at the top section and spam right on the d-pad it does sound confusion confusing but it's not at all as you can see in a minute so now i've actually loading in now i've loaded i just want to run into the clothes store like this and run up to this um, top section here which here stand still and spam right on the d-pad and then you'll be put onto this menu now, you don't have to press anything when you're on this menu, you can just switch through. And uh, after 15 to 30 seconds, it will kick you out and you've now got the outfit on. Once this has happened, you want to pull the interaction menu up again. Go to security serve and actually retire now. And now you'll see that you've actually got the outfit. Now, personally, I do recommend saving the outfit while you've got it like this. Uh, before you actually change anything on the outfit, just in case it glitches out and takes it off you. So as you can see, I've already got the outfit saved before I changed it. And once you've saved it, you can just change absolutely anything, apart from the joggers, obviously. As you can see, you can change the tops, the shoes, anything. I'm just going to choose any random things. Stuff that I've already bought, so I don't have to spend more money. As you can see, you can change it, still got the joggers. And this is the good bit about the shoes. You can actually have um, no shoes. So as you can see, your whole like ankle and that actually go invisible. But with the shoes, it does look pretty sick as well with like the invisible ankles. And you can change the hat, glasses, anything you want. And once you've actually got the outfit you want, just come to the desk and actually save it. And now you've um, got the tan joggers. I would recommend saving it in two slots as well, just in case it glitches out. And when you want to quit GTA, don't quit the application, quit into story mode. And you only have to do that once. And as you can see, this is the outfit I chose and uh, changed with the joggers. And as you can see, my ankles are invisible and everything. Thank you for watching, I hope you'd enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you are struggling with this and need any help, just drop a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you. And if you do follow my Instagram, I'll reply on there quicker. But yeah, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.